All right, what on everybody? It's your boy Is Wiz here, back with some more Queen's Blade White Triangle. Now I know it's been a while. It's been about like three weeks now since the last time I posted anything. And you remember my last video? I was talking about what was the future of this game? What was the developers gonna do for this game? Well, from the weeks when I was making that video, they have been putting out yeah free crystals for like two whole months we was getting free crystals which i've been collecting all of them so now i have over 2000 some crystals but today i signed to the game and i saw that there were some things that changed like you see this this new summons for these shards for characters i'm not sure what these is for yet because i just got back to the game but i'm pretty sure those is for like new equipment that I've seen in the game right now. And as you've seen there was an Elena and um Menace banner, the new level fives. I am gonna do that summons, but it's not gonna be for this video, it's gonna be for the next video. I'm gonna do the summons. Um I had to get my dailies and they see they had to look crystal things in the dailies too. And now they have the section where you could pick whichever color types you want. The green types purple types or the red types you could do summons for just those types now which is pretty good and you see this one is just the same oh you use your uh bolt currency to get characters and stuff like that and then the last one is still the ticket summons and stuff but i don't have anything for that so they really been changing some things around and i didn't notice that the ui of this stuff has changed as you can see this is the new menu now I'm gonna go over this real quickly so you guys can understand what to do how to level up your characters and stuff because this stuff has switched around since the game came out you see everything is different this those new shard things I happen to have one for Aldra and now that gives me an Aldra move so that's what I was just thinking of all those new shards is stuff that will give you a move It's just shards to get a move which I'm wondering is those gonna be in regular summons so you just ain't gonna be summoning for moves you're gonna be getting shards of moves and then you gotta get enough shards to get moves cuz if it's like that that'll be kinda whack but if it's just summons for shards to get specific type moves that only use the shards, then I'm okay with that. Anyway, these are some new things that I noticed in the game too. This um, Noah and this um, Tomoe and Lena. I believe we got these for playing the other events that was out a long time ago. Because I do remember that Noah picture. And... <coughs> Excuse me. I did notice that and that was from um I forgot was it the bikini event it was something like that but as you can see everything changed so you going through the menus and you just looking like hey what is this so the first one up here that is where you equip your stuff to your characters like their attack moves defense moves and all that you know how it used to be with the attack and everything you just equip to the second section is where you level up the character. You see where I clicked on you level up the characters and you could make their levels go up and stuff like that. And also there's like tabs on the top where you could just go through it where you want to level up moves and stuff. You don't really have to go through these menus one by one when you go into a certain section. So that one with the big buff arm you could just go there and then see you can level up moves, your equipment skills and all that stuff they all under the same thing so that's frankly for all this stuff all you had to do is go under the one that showed the arm and you get all that stuff this one is the perfect knockdown animation things i'm not sure what vte is for it because i don't have any of those but we're gonna go into some of these perfect knockdowns and see what changed because there has been some changes to it <laughs> Excuse me. Now see, first of all, you see that they give you an item just for trying this stuff. And I'm not sure what what's the purpose of 
let's get an item for trainers but i do like this concept and as you see for the perfect knockdown it's just got numbers of times you tap the screen and see i got fever time i don't even know why and you just tap the screen and you get fever time and you just keep tapping the screen i got fever time times two and there all you have to do is tap the screen now so i'm not sure what like is there a certain pattern and stuff but all i do know is this is much easier than the other other way you had to do it because the other way you had to do the sequences and you had to do them really fast and also doing it that way you didn't really level up your characters um level thing right there up much now it goes up pretty fast and i'm gonna do one more just because i want to show you guys something else that you could notice when doing this so we're just gonna take a lane go in there real quick and i'm gonna show you guys this real quick and also uh, <laughs> i forgot to tell you guys they they might age restrict my video again because youtube's tends to keep doing that for these type of videos but it doesn't matter so anyway you tap ready and then you you see where I'm tapping some say 3 10 10 3 stuff I guess you gotta find the right places to hit on the screen and also if you press certain places you will get an item because in this time when I was doing this I think I touched the nose yeah and I got an item for that so I guess you gotta just tap around the screen and find things that you could, like, find the right spots to press. I know that sounds so weird with what the picture is and the background stuff, but you gotta find the right spot to touch. Yeah, that's, that's all I can say is find the right spot to touch. And you can get items and stuff for doing this now. See, they gave me items to level her up. So... That's basically most of all what they changed. Um, the only other thing that I noticed it changed was like the battle system. And that, which we were going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, the battle systems has really changed. So this right here is just you looking at the profiles and you know where you get the extra items for getting certain amounts of characters and stuff. That's what you get from that section. This one is just looking at all the things you have in the game like all your characters all your moves all your items and all that stuff that's what that section is and this last section right here this is just like the new thing where you show your character profile they tag stuff you could just press the button on the bottom left so you could just level up your character as you can see it just goes right back to level up and that's <laughs> pretty much it Sorry, I might be catching a cold, guys. That's why I'm keep coughing and sniffling. But, um, yeah, that's basically it for the whole difference in this menu that they done changed. Um, it's pretty more um, easier to understand for me now because even though I don't speak or read any Japanese, I could still navigate through that fairly easy. So, also things that changed in here was the store like most of the stuff is the same in the store but i noticed that those little character shards is still in the store and also if you go over here to the um what is it the arena the battle arena stuff i noticed that there's new things in here because i see an elenite uh ymir and some other people that I haven't seen. See, that's Elenite with her armor getting broke. And then there's a Ymir. That's uh, Irma and somebody else. But these are skills that I haven't seen in a game yet. They're up here now. And I want to know, what are these for? So, when I get back into the game, when I do my summoning video, I might go up there and buy one of these things just to see what these are. Because I don't know what they are. Well, as you can see, they still have the same level four, five, threes, and stuff moves. This up there, you can still buy them. 
and also I found out how to get these EX coins I'm gonna tell you guys how to get those in another video and basically the store is still the same all right so right here we're gonna get to the story like the regular story battle because one the event that's going on right now is one that we had uh, it was the event where you got the Elena and Ari card which I didn't really get the full complete golden one um, I still got a grind for this a little bit but I'll be using my skip tickets to do it because all you have to do is get to the highest point you are in like the highest chapter you are in the story mode and just spam that with tickets because whichever chapter you're in that's how many number of these t's that they'll give you but as you can see this is a new thing that you can equip in the beginning of a match those are those new cars i mentioned the noah and uh tomoe slash lena card they do certain abilities when you start a match and end a match and you still got your um picking your characters and stuff for which one you go into battle with but the overall battle systems has changed now when you go into battle you don't have to like play the first character in your rotation and then press switch in the middle of a combo like at the end so you can switch and do combos no you can actually just pick a character off the side and play each character during the same rotation so basically you're just playing with all the characters now you can pick who can block you pick who can attack and you can do whatever type of combinations you want now so that's a pretty good update for the fighting system i really like it and i i wish they had this sooner but i'm glad it's here now and i'm pretty excited to play uh the pvp modes like this now hopefully the pvp mode the the other players that you play against don't be doing this type of stuff because that would be scary that you can't actually defeat their first units and stuff like how it used to be you'll have to fight everybody individually that would be crazy but it'll still be exciting to do so with that being said that's basically it with all the updates and changes to the game uh i'm gonna let this whole battle in before i end the video so y'all gonna see me play the whole ending chapter of this this whole fight and stuff gonna roll out so if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe turn on notifications to be notified whenever i upload and follow me under all my social media under is the wiz this your boy is the wiz sending out deuces and i will see you guys in the next video